Oh hello and welcome to another Genshin Impact video. Today we have the Genshin Impact's developers discussion for 5.1. Livestream for 5.1 is on the 27th and this is a this is just a sneak peek into what some of the things that we're going to be getting in 5.1. So let's see if they got anything good in this or if all of this is just going to be eh. Well, let's see what they've cooked up. If you enjoyed this video or find this useful then please do leave a like. So leave a comment letting me know what your opinion is on this developers discussion and everything that's coming in 5.1 and also subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future content so yeah without further ado let's get right into it all right developers discussion 925 new limited time area exploration rewards and skip feature for spiral abyss okay that sounds promising i'm guessing it's gonna be something like the moc in hsr all right let's see hi traveler the latest developers discussion is here let's take a look at the adjustments and optimizations that this new version update has in store for you new limited time area exploration rewards in future versions there will be limited time area exploration rewards whatever new area becomes available the rewards collection period will last for two versions okay okay additionally for the new areas in version 5.0 which include basin of unnumbered plains tecumacan valley kotepec mountains and toyak springs um probably not pronouncing these correctly forgive me for that but i don't know how to pronounce them exactly uh anyway springs meet certain exploration requirements to obtain a total of 400 primogems okay if you have already met the exploration requirements during version 5.0 you will be able to claim these rewards as, sh as soon as the new version is released please note that the rewards must be claimed by the end of version 5.2 okay so we're gonna get some extra rewards if we explore the new areas that come out i'm happy they made it two patches long rather than one patch because if they made it one patch long i i would say that would have been a bit too much fomo forcing you to having to explore a certain amount every patch that's just not that would have been bad but since they made it two patches long i'd say this this is a pretty good one giving you more incentive to explore the new areas so yeah okay this is we're starting off with a good one i'd say this is pretty good extra 400 primogems is always nice all right Next one, friendly reminder, the extra limited time rewards for the version 5.0 are conquest and travel chronicles science of the canopy will no longer be available after 259 on October 8, 2024. Okay, okay, so these are extra rewards that were for the Archon quest and for the science of the canopy travel chronicles quest. Yeah, they won't be available once 5.1 drops. So you're gonna you gotta complete these before the before 5.0 ends if we want the extra rewards specifically the primo gems all right next one optimize spiral abyss experience starting from the latest lunar phase of the spiral abyss in version 5.1 beginning october 16th you'll be able to use the skip feature meet the conditions to quickly skip to the specific floors clear floor 12 with four stars in the previous phase claim rewards for floors 9 and 10 directly start from floor 11 in the current phase and clear floor 11 with full stars in the previous phase claim reverse floor 9 directly start from the floor 10 in current phase okay so if you full clear floor 12 you can start from floor 11 and if you full clear 11 you start from 10 okay fair enough fair enough that's that's definitely a good feature not having to do the two previous stages that's good that's pretty good you, you can claim the rewards you can claim all chamber bounties for the skip floors directly via the view pop-up sure however the premium rewards from stars bounty will still need to be claimed manually what oh we have to claim the premium rewards manually okay sure we get these extra rewards in one claim but not the premium those have to be claimed manually okay sure i guess i don't know why it wasn't included in the one click one but all right sure you'll also be able to open multiple artifact chests in one go to reduce the number of repeated operations required yeah opening these one by one is kind of a pain having the ability to open them all at once is going to be a lot easier now this is yeah this is uh, definitely fine this is a good one and the skip feature is definitely going to be useful so okay another good one nice all right next is optimized character building experience in previous versions, have you ever found yourself having to constantly switch between different screens when building characters and collecting materials, making the whole process a real headache? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, in the new version, we've optimized the character building experience so you can view and craft all required character development items via a convenient one-stop interface, making the calculation process much easier. Okay, crafting bench enhancement progression calculator. 
okay so we're getting like a progression calculated like we have on holab directly in the uh, the crafting bench all right that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty pretty convenient that's awesome anyways uh click the square in the bottom left corner of the crafting bench interface to select the character then you can find all of the character development items in one go and craft them right away oh, okay so we're gonna be able to filter these by characters that's gonna be really really helpful you can also find and calculate character ascension, weapon ascension, and talent level up materials individually. That's even more helpful. Thank you. The calculation will display both the quantities of materials required and the amount you currently have, reducing the amount of effort required on your part. That is so convenient. That is that is that is very, very good quality of life upgrade. That is a very, very good quality of life upgrade. When you click to craft materials, the system will automatically detect the amount of materials required. Making the crafting process more precise, convenient, and minimizing waste. Yeah, that's great. That's fantastic. Taking character ascension as an example, you can select the ascension phase you wish to ascend to. So they're basically including the enhancement calculator, like the one in Hoyolab. And they're just putting it in the crafting bench and incorporating it into the whole crafting mechanics. So you have the exact numbers based on where you want or what kind of upgrades you want to do on your characters this is a fantastic quality of life upgrade it's going to be so much easier and so much faster to be able to upgrade characters now that you can just do it in one screen rather than having to look up and switch between screens multiple times just to figure out what you need and then going to the crafting match and then forgetting and having to do that again it was very annoying this is going to be very 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 useful It'll make things a lot more convenient, that's for sure. When selecting characters that you've recently acquired or leveled up will be displayed at the top, making it more convenient for you to select them. Thank you. More convenience, better. The maximum craftable amount will be shown in this source information section of the character development items. Okay, sure. Okay, another banger. Okay, all of them have been good so far. Let's see the last one. Other interface feature optimizations. Optimize sorting for Trounce Domain Interface. After the update, the Adventure Handbook Trounce Domain screen will sort Trounce from newest to oldest, making it easier for you to review the rewards, location, and other information about the newest Trounce Domains. Sure, fine. I don't think it was that big of a deal, but I guess sorting from newest to oldest will make it a little more convenient. It's fine, it's fine. It's not, ba it's not bad, it's good, it's fine. It's just not that impactful, but it's still good. Adventure Handbook Default Display Page Optimization After the update, when all the content in Adventure Handbook experience has been completed, the first time you open the Adventure Handbook, after each time you log in, the commissions and guide tabs will be displayed first if there is any unfinished content in these tabs. If you haven't finished your daily commissions yet, you'll see the commissions tab as soon as you open Okay, so you don't have to switch tabs anymore. When you open it, it'll default to the commissions tab. Another nice, nice uh, uh quality of life upgrade it's it's more convenient it's like i said it's not that impactful but it is still good it is still more convenient even if it is a little bit it is still more convenient customer art custom what am i saying custom <laughs> a custom artifact filtering for characters oh okay to help you quickly choose suitable artifacts we've also optimized the artifacts interface you can create custom artifact filter plans for individual characters and the system will record each character's plan wait hold on create custom artifact filter plans for individual characters and the system will record each character's plan it's not directly an artifact loadout but it is very close to that you can just save the filter settings for each character individually that is probably as close to a loadout as it can get I mean, the next step is just an artifact loadout that is huge that is huge uh, let's just keep reading maybe uh, there's something missing let's see i think that's what it's supposed to be but let's see when you perform oper operations such as sorting and filtering artifact sets or fixes on an artifact component your selection will be saved the next time you access the artifact selection menu for that character the results of your previous selection will be displayed automatically without you needing to adjust them again damn that's good that's that's very good when you acquire new artifacts and re-enter the page of a character for whom a filter has been filter plan has been set the newly obtained artifacts will also be sorted according to the filter plan that was previously said this will help you find artifacts you want to use more quickly this is fantastic this is 
this is a huge upgrade this is going to be very 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 impactful this is extremely good probably one of if not the best upgrades we had we've had so far period you will be able to see the selected effects by which artifacts are being sorted directly on the interface crit rate to damage attack okay new set filter switching button has been added allowing you to quickly switch between showing all and filtering out sets making it easier to select non-set pieces such as when choosing a four-piece set plus one non-piece set combination okay fantastic this 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 is this is a huge upgrade this is this is fucking fantastic this is a huge w here okay this brings the latest session of developers discussion to an end happy travels traveler okay that was all that's that's fantastic pretty much all of the upgrades were good some of them maybe a little less impactful but they were still nonetheless good and this is just friggin huge this is fantastic upgrade this is huge quality of life upgrade i'm very very excited for 5.1 to drop and i can't wait for the live stream on the 27th we'll see what they show in that so yeah that's pretty much it i love this developers discussion i'm loving how genshin's providing more better quality of life upgrades now the uh, sanctifying elixir thing that's still a huge mess i already have a video on that it, it was a good concept but they kind of messed it up with all the stupid restrictions just remove those i really hope they remove those restrictions if they do that system is going to be fantastic yeah this seems definitely like it's going the right direction so i'm hoping they will fix that one too so well let's just wait and see this looks good looks like we're getting some good upgrades in 5.1 so yeah that's pretty much it let me know down in the comments what your opinion is on these updates that are coming in 5.1 and yeah that's gonna be it for this one see you all in the next one